Hey guys, and welcome to Airshare. Today we're going to be talking about Bubble, which is a fantastic no code platform. We're going to be talking about social media, and we're going to be talking about the Airshare social media service. And what Airshare lets you do is post to multiple social media destinations from a single interface. And really what it does is it empowers other products and other platforms to post to multiple social media destinations. So if you're building your own app, your own product, your own web app on Bubble, Airshare is a great option to add social capabilities to your product. Okay, so let's jump into it. This is the app that we have in Bubble. We just put a few fields on the page to get started. I'm going to quickly run you through it. Nothing is wired up, but this is pretty basic. We've got this text field here that we called Street Photo. So that's the name of our app. We put in a multi-line input box here. This is a single line input box. We've got two more single line input boxes for the images, some image previews and a button. This button doesn't do anything yet because we haven't wired it up. So. Let's take a look at how to make this thing work. The first step is to add the API connector in Bubble. And the way you do that is you click the button in the top right, you type API into the search, and you see at the top API connector, and you install it. We already have it installed, so we're going to configure it. First thing you need to do is give it a name. We called it AirShare Bubble. For authentication, you can choose none or self-handled. So you're going to set up a call and you're going to give that call a name. We called it Airshare API Post Call because we're going to be posting to our social media destinations. Very important, use as action. I think this defaults to data and you want to change it to action. The data type is JSON. So you're going to post and you want to pick the API Post Endpoint. And this is the API post endpoint. You need to put in two headers. One is called authorization. And you get your API key from the airshare.com dashboard. You can go ahead and set up a free account to get this thing started. Remember to put the word bearer in front of the API key. You need another header called content type which has a value of application slash JSON. And then you're going to add parameters to the body. The body, you could enter like this. We have post, which is post, platforms, which is platforms, and media URLs, which is media. Now, the post is just going to be text. Platforms is going to be an array of platforms because if you want to send to multiple platforms, for example, Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, you need to put in that array of the three platforms. And for media URLs, it's also an array because if you want to add one image, you just put in the one image in the array. But if you want to send in two images, you would need to put in two images into an array. And that's what we're going to run through today, how to send two images in a post and it comes out looking really, really good on uh, the social media sites. So to get this plugin set up, you need to put in some starter parameters to initialize the API, post, platforms, and media, which are the three keys that we set up in the body here. And for the value, as you can see here, we put in some text. You can put in any text, it doesn't really matter. This is just to initialize the API. For the platforms, you can pick Twitter or Facebook or any other that you have configured in your Airshare dashboard. And for media, you just need a URL to an image. And we use Unsplash for our sample images pretty often, but there's lots of great websites out there with lots of great images that you can use to initialize it. Make sure that you Click the uh, option for capture response headers before you initialize it. And then you're going to click the initialize. It's going to bring you the results. You're going to save it. And then this plugin is active. Okay. Now that we have our 
app design complete. We have our plugin active. We're going to go ahead and hook it all up and make our app post to our social media destinations. So let's go back to our design. And we have one button here, which is post it. So we're going to click start edit workflow. And we have a workflow that will be kicked off when the button posted is clicked. So let's go ahead and configure this. So we're going to go down to plugins, AirShare bubble, AirShare API post call. This is what we named it. And it's going to give you all of your default values, which we're going to replace. So for the body of the post, we're going to select the multi-line input. Enter the body post and put in the value. Now remember to put quotes around this. That's important. For the platforms, we're going to insert the input Facebook, Twitter. Now there we're going to actually... We're going to select value, but in the input box, we're going to put the quotes around each one. So we don't need quotes here. And for the body media, we're going to use quotes as well. So we're going to grab the first URL value in quotes. And then we'll do comma space, open a second quote, grab the second URL, put the Value in, put the second quote in. Okay, all set. So that's really all you need to do to configure this app. We're going to add one more app action, which is just to reset the inputs of the boxes once it's all set. So it clears it out. And now let's give it a shot. So I'm going to click preview to run it. And let's go ahead and run this app. So we're going to grab two photos. We're going to send it to our Facebook and Twitter destination, and we're going to put in some body text. So let's just grab a couple of photos here. Uh, here's a nice one. I'm going to grab the URL, put it in here. When you hit tab, the image preview shows up. And let's go and grab another one. Let's say, okay, very nice. Copy image address. Very good. Enter the body text. These are exciting streets. And let's send it to our Twitter in quotes, comma, space, Facebook in quotes. Okay, this app is configured with our post. And now we're going to click post it. You see the status bar on top running through. And it completed and it cleared out the screen. So let's take a quick look at our feed here. There we go. Look at this. These are exciting streets. And if someone wants to click on the post, they see the photo and they see a second photo. So that's a great experience there on Twitter and on Facebook. Let's refresh the page. And look at that. These are exciting streets with two photos. And again, if they uh, tap on one of the photos, they can scroll through and see both photos. So that's all there is to it. We created a app. We wired it up using the bubble API connector, created a couple of actions. And now we can send multiple image files with our post to multiple social destinations. Thanks for watching and enjoy your bubble journey.